Are you ready for some questions? Sure, always. As you might have seen earlier, we've had a topic of yesterday and today with Pokemon uh, in parallel with Vue.js Nation uh, and the Kanto Nation. Do you have any favorite Pokemon yourself? Oh, uh, yeah, I really like Mewtwo <laughs> from the very beginning <laughs> of... Uh, <laughs> From the very first games, I really like how it was just artificial. I found it funny. And recently, I just got a shiny Mewtwo, legit shiny Mewtwo. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, nice. Yeah. Congratulations. So you're playing <laughs> on Switch, I guess. Yeah, on the diamond, yeah, shiny yeah. card. Yeah. Nice, oh, nice. Free and diamond. Good, good. Diamond. A proper Pokemon fan. Good. Let's get straight into it. Uh, we have uh, questions prepared. The last one that came in actually, and it may be interesting for people having had a look at your talk, where can we find Pina Playground? It's actually, the, the, if it's referring to the, the question is referring to the, the playground I was showing, it's in the repository so. uh, oh, cool. from Pina. So you just call the repository, call PNPM, uh, wait, yarn install, and then uh, you have a script called play i will just run the bit server for that yep um so a bit open question maybe it's not so easy to answer quickly since you created view router as well as pinya are there any lessons you learned from creating view router that applied to pinya as well there are definitely some lessons <laughs> the question is do i remember them uh, <laughs> like to be able to tell the lesson um yeah. I think if I am trying to, to remember the experience of how I felt on uh, building the libraries. And one thing that was common to both and um, I did enjoy is that I experimented a lot with the uh, things I'm building. And this allows me to, um, <clears throat> to cater for a lot of use cases and make sure that I have tests for as many things I, can, I, I, I know about. Uh, so then it has fewer bugs as well. Uh, Pina was much harder in that aspect, but I didn't work on it for so long. Uh, and the other thing is TypeScript, I think. <laughs> Pina is built all around TypeScript. It has very complicated type things in its code, but it did make everything easier, like refactoring and um, remove part of the test. So having uh, thinking about this, the, the types and spending the time to um, refactor types from time to time uh, was definitely helpful in the quality in the code, quality of the code. Cool. We got a couple of uh, variations of this question also today, though Evan, I know, answered it, at least parts of it yesterday. But since it's asked a lot, I would love to hear your answer on Vuex and Pina. So two iterations on the question. One is more specifically on uh, is there a reason to use Vuex or Pina, or do you feel a Pina can do the job? And the other question on a similar topic or sort of like inferring from that, um, is perhaps the future of Vuex to become like Pina? Why use it now? So I don't think there is a, a, a case that Vuex can handle and Pina cannot. In fact, <clears throat> in fact, I think that the way the V3, uh, I mean, V3 is built and the composition API itself, uh, it, it makes it easier to not even need a store in even more cases. So to be able to reduce even more the usage of uh, UX and Pina. Yeah. Uh, Pina definitely cater for any size of application, uh, any application size, sorry. And can you put the second uh, question on the screen? Yeah, sure, please? absolutely. Um, why use it now? So I guess it's about Vuex. So usually you use Vuex because you were already view using it before. Uh, I don't, or you really like the syntax, um, which fine, which is fine. Uh, I will personally not use Vuex in any project, especially in Vue, especially in Vue three. But it would have been very inconvenient if we, if especially as Kia is the person who has been maintaining Vuex all this time yeah, and he's still working on, on things about state management that uh, are going to be part of Pina. Um, so it would have been very inconvenient being able to migrate. But 
uh, so and then probably Evan already said it, but yeah, the, the future of UX of U, UX five, the idea was very similar to Pina. That's why the 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 team decided to just move to Pina and, and keep the mm -hmm. name of Pina so that we can search for results in both with both names and we don't mess up the searches and examples sure. online. Yeah. Going to cover one last question since you mentioned TypeScript both in your talk and also now in the questions and answers. Is TypeScript able to automatically follow Pina logic and infer store types, or do you need to assert store types like in UX4? No, you don't need to assert them. It's automatic. Um, you have very, very little typing to do in Pina. It's one of the main uh, advantages and one of the main core values of it. Uh, the, the codes I was show, showing, the code I was showing is. Uh, in TypeScript, but I didn't write any type notation except for the end when I was typing the options, extending mm -hmm. the capabilities and everything just worked. I was having a bug in my editor in the view files. So I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed that. But that's, I'm sure we will de debug it after the call. Uh, thanks yeah. again for <laughs> your talk and for the great answers. I uh, wish you all the best for the rest of your day and hope to see you in the future. Thank you. Hope to see you. Bye. Take care.